Another way you can do this, you don't have to make your marks all the way around. I've just got my little serrated punch and We only have to have the marks on the top and then it's just giving you the illusion of segments. They don't really have to be segmented. And then where the wings are going to solder to the body, we want both the wings and the body to be slightly flattened so they have a good solder join. So just hold them in your fingers. You don't have to do a killer job on this, but just slightly flat. It's so we can have a good solder join. Okay. We're ready to put this on the charcoal block and solder it. So I made a little groove in my charcoal block and this is going to be the underside. And I think we want the small wings forward. So get it lined up. Then flex these two spots. So just flex where the wings touch the body. So two pieces of easy solder nestled in where the wings touch the body. Try to get it all lined up as closely as you can. Now easy because we don't want to melt the wings and we don't we don't want them to collapse. So our same neutral flame. Gently warm it up so the flux dries out. Then once it's dry, I'm I'm pretty much just going back and forth down the length of the body. Don't concentrate your flame in one area too long or these will melt. These wings are pretty thin. If you see one starting to go bright red, back off. When the solder flows, back away. So quench it, have a look. Now this, this can be either be the top or the bottom. I, I think, I think we'll just make that the bottom. I like the wings slightly angled up. So this is the illusion of a dragonfly and uh, what I'll do is I'll probably solder a little jump ring, once again easy solder in between the two wings. I won't put the little eyeballs on it, I'll just leave it the way it is and I'll re-texture this tail, uh, pickle it and tumble it, an easy one. So just tidy up the front and the back. I'm using a little abrasive disc, 400 grade. Just slightly round it off. When, you, when you're working with something fairly fragile, but you need to be able to use small tools without 
damaging the piece. <laughs> the tail was a little bit long for me, so I shortened it. This is all just what you want, what you think is good. And like I say, I'll solder a, a small jump ring in between the wings. So <clears throat> put the uh, little join so that it touches the wing. And that way you'll solder the join and the wing at the same time. One little piece of easy solder on e either side. So you can see that I'm just resting the solder in at a little bit of an angle. Because I, I want to keep the smallest amount possible off the wings. Normally I'd solder this in the back. But this is decided that it wants to be from the front. Once again, a neutral flame on your torch. And gently heat. I'm just kind of brushing the flame gently on and off. Now once again, we really need to pay attention to where the flame is pointed because it would it would really be easy to melt the wings that are just above so just circle the bottom keeping your eye on the rest of the piece at the same time any any time you see something start to go really red that is not what you're actually soldering back away Yep, beautiful. Check your solder joints. They should all be beautiful. You should be able to see the meniscus between the two bits. Solder your big jump ring on. Pickle it, hallmark it, and tumble it. The front was a little bit too generic for me, so I flattened it with just a square punch, and then I put two little punch marks for its eyes. So now I'm going to pickle it and tumble it. 